about the house so this is generally how the house looks like um there are so many types of houses that you can ideally use to grow the mushrooms uh, the ones we're using here at mushroom kenya in karen is uh, we're using the mud houses because one it's a bit cheaper to set than two this is a, a least piece of land so we really wanted to do something that is uh, uh, semi-permanent so we decided to work with the mud houses and then so this is ideally how the houses generally looks um, we have the iron sheet roof we have the mud walls and we have the windows so these windows if you look at them keenly uh, there's this wire mesh and then there's the net so the wire mesh is ideally the window you don't need to to put like a fully complete window like the ones we do in the houses so here we just use the mesh and then the, the net is to prevent insects from getting in and then the black polythene is normally to allow light or darkness inside the room because there's a ideally we should be having two types of growing houses um what we call an incubation house and a grow house but what we normally do is we use the same house to do the two processes so there's a period of incubation we need darkness and there's a period of growing or fruiting we need light so we because we use the same house we adjust during those points so at the entrance of the door we have uh we have the footpaths so this is where we we disinfect our when we disinfect ourselves when we're getting in the room uh at the door there is now these nets that we're using so these nets majorly are used to um to prevent insects going inside the room and this is how the room idea look, looks like so right now uh this is a room that we are going to plant in the next three days with the substrate that we have already prepared so this is how the shelf looks like uh, these are our our wooden shelves so because we're using the bags we're using the mushroom grow bags so our shelves are ideally like this whereby we just place the bags uh, the, the hood in Kenya is now a bit expensive because um, cutting of trees was burnt and so right now doing a wooden shelf like this can be more expensive and the cheapest option you can use is to use the the mesh uh the wire mesh uh, shelves and then we put the bags the other system you can use is for example you use the rails uh, this is a bit dark but let me explain here where there is light so in the rails yeah so uh, the the other system is whereby you you now put a rail on this other side you see this side you put the rails here so what happens is uh, you're going to spread the black polythene here and just put the substrate on that polythene so you don't need the bags because um, the bags sometimes getting them is a problem and all that so you can use the rails or you can make drawers most of the time two meter by a meter drawer that you can pull uh, this is so far by far the best system you can use but the the only problem is uh, there is higher chances of infection so that is why most people still struggle to get the bugs and um, we also normally make the spawn for oyster mushrooms and so these are for example the glasses we normally use to uh, we pack them in, in in glass bottles like you see this one is now a ready a ready spawn that is ready to be planted yeah uh, yes.